Okay, so here I am going to be showing you how to coordinate your volunteer team more efficiently and effectively. And this tool, Google Sheet, um, can be used whether you're talking about a special event, uh, regular donors on a weekly basis, a 24-hour phone-a-thon, um, or to plan out your volunteer schedule for the entire year. Um, again, this is what I recommend using with regular donors that you've already done background checks on if they need to um, know their skill set and other dependability. I would not recommend Google Sheets um, to recruit new volunteers. This is for your current volunteer team. So what we're going to do right now is go ahead and create a Google Sheet um, for the upcoming fundraising event. And you can see down here, this is my life in the last few days. Um, so we're going to go right here to Google Sheets blank document. Okay, and you'll see untitled um, sheet. I'm going to go ahead and change the title just to Grit Consulting Fundraising Event. Okay, and before I even get started kind of getting the content, I'm going to make sure that it looks like a table so it's also visually friendly for um, the people that I'm going to share access to this table. Um, so let's see. So what I'm doing right now is inserting a head row. Um, this is maybe less concerning to you. I'm going to go ahead and merge that header cell. And I always like to put um, the t times and dates and every little thing you do. So. So there we go, we have the volunteer schedule for the March 3rd dinner event. We're gonna make it look pretty. Uh, make it, I'm all about centering things. <laughs> now onto the good stuff, the life-changing moment of how to coordinate volunteers more efficiently and effectively. Okay, so at the uh, dinner fundraising event for Grip Consulting, um, the event actually starts at six. Um, but what I'm gonna do is put set up 4.30, to 5.30 will be my setup time. I really want all my volunteers to be in place well before people start showing up. Um, then I want 5.30 so that people are cross-trained to 7. Um, will be shift 1, 7 to 8.30. And then I anticipate people are really going to start leaving around um, 8. So we'll go ahead and do 8.30 to 9.30 will be commitment for teardown. And again, with how I function, I'm going to make sure to wrap text. Um, and we're going to go format this at the end. But what I'm assuming is for each job that there are two people. So I'm going to leave two little slots. Okay. Um, the first job is registration table. And there are two people, so I'm going to leave a slot there. Um, the next job I have for my event, um, we're selling cookies. So I'm just going to put cookies there. Again, two slots, 50, 50 tickets, uh, silent auction. I will go ahead and, um, this probably is not actually going to happen, but just because I have two extra spaces, I'm going to put elf dancing. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some elf dancing in March. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, okay. So what I'm going to do before I really start uh, formatting this anymore is um, in Google Forms, there's this thing called filtering. And what that's going to do is allow you to order things by time or alphabetically or pull out certain answers. So I'm just going to click filter. And what it looks like then is that the table actually has functional headers. Uh, again, give me a second. Okay. I'm going to fold that. I will hopefully fast forward when I put this out. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and for me to make it more visually appealing and so people understand, I am going to have each group of two a different color of green. And now for the genius. Okay. So we're so used as, to as volunteer 
coordinators, um, deciding what volunteers we need, right? Sending out an email to the 20 people on our volunteer team and our board, uh, having them all respond back that they all want to work the registration table from 5.30 to 7, right? And then us having to suggest other things and um, it's a back and forth and back and forth and back and forth that if you're trying to coordinate 20 volunteers for one event, I'd say probably eats up if you, you know, did all the math, 12 hours of your time. And you're still then going to have out and having to recruit a few more people. Okay. This is what I call the Google Sheets Volunteer Management Miracle. Uh, and I've only discovered this by a failing forward in volunteer management. Okay. So you've created a little sheet, you know you need two at each of these times. Um, we probably don't need any elf dancing during teardown. Uh, we also probably do not need registration table teardown because we think they're going to start tearing down during this time. Um, we're going to go ahead and center that because we are a little bit picky about things. Um, and we probably don't need elf dancing during setup either. Okay. <laughs> so we've determined that those are slots that don't need anything. We want to make sure that our volunteers know that there are two slots per each role. Support of <laughs> Grit Consulting. We'll do that, but whatever your agency name is. Okay. And probably use correct uh, punctuation. All right. So, um, two slots dash people needed for each role each time. Okay, so it, this does a couple things, right? It cuts out the, you as the middleman, um, but it also allows you to kind of communicate with your volunteers without having to communicate. So let's say, you know, the most important time during registration is when people are first coming in and you'll get a big, massive, right? If it's a six o'clock event from like 5.50 to 6.10, it's just crazy. So you want to make sure that your most efficient and effective volunteers that are good with money and good with multitasking are there. So before you even send this out, maybe uh, Cindy and John, um, John, John uh, are, you know that they're great and they're stellar. And we also know this is a really prized spot all volunteers want. So before you even send it out, I would just put their names down, uh, maybe even a little question mark so that then they could just confirm. So really, right now, you're like 20 minutes away from having all these volunteer slots filled. What you're going to do, um, hopefully you have an, another spreadsheet somewhere um, of all your possible volunteers, whether you're downloading it from your donor management software, your volunteer management software, whether you keep little Excel spreadsheets, uh, whether it's just you searching through your email. Okay, You have this all done right, for the fundraising event. You know all the volunteer slots you need. You are going to click. Right now, only you can see it. Um, you're going to click share. You're going to type in. You're going to type in all of your volunteers right here. Okay, make sure over here on the right um, that it's not can view or can comment. It really is can edit. And you're going to say hello, wonderful volunteer team. Blah, 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 blah. And then probably also explain to them what to do. Like click here on the shareable link and write your name where you're committing. So keep the email short and sweet, um, especially if these are volunteers you've already engaged with, like the, maybe they're on your coordination committee. Um, keep it short and sweet. Uh, make it clear that they can sign up themselves and voila, give, oh, and give them a deadline. So if today's on Monday, say please by Friday sign up. You can go in and check as if uh, you know you have those eager beaver, beaver volunteers that are all trying to sign up at the same time. As soon as you send out this email and Jan's trying to fight for the slot that Cindy already has and they all want to be elf dancing at 530, uh, you no longer have to fight that battle back and forth with your volunteers. And who are you going to make happy? Who aren't you going to make happy? You're just going to let them sign up themselves uh, first come first serve basis and you cut out yourself as the middleman and instead of those 47 emails that you're going to get today in response to this, you're going to go on about your day, continue to be productive, and uh, tomorrow you're going to open up your inbox and uh, 
go back to your Google Sheet and notice that everything's been done for you. So that's just one step to do things more efficiently and effectively uh, for volunteer management when you already have your volunteers in place. Good luck.